We are very proud of seeing the columns now being installed. It's really a milestone. At this early stage of the construction, you already get a sense of how the building might look like uh, once it's finished. In terms of the design, the building has quite a special character. Because it is the first building that you approach it from between stations, we needed to have quite a strong presence. So we wanted the facade and the materiality to carry the building in a strong way. We got initially involved when the architect was asking is it possible to use cast iron in, in the way that he envisaged and I thought it was a, a fantastically inspired and brave move of, of David Chipperfield Architects to choose cast iron. It fits in perfectly with the heritage of the area. They're completely made of recycled materials, 70% of which are car brake discs, scrap cars, engine parts, things like that. We've always recycled because cast iron is so versatile. It doesn't downgrade when it's remelted over and over again. It creates exactly the same quality every single time. It's the ultimate recyclable material. The site started moving with place. The difficult part was the remediation, the deep dig for the basement. Once we now strike the ground floor, we're in a repetition of floor plates and you'll see a dramatic change. We'll probably have seven, eight floor plates done in the next four months. Now we're using cast iron as a modern building material to reflect the Victorian heritage and to physically see the columns going in to, into situ, all the work we put in along with the architects. It's just wonderful. It's a fantastic experience for me and the guys in the foundry that, you know, for our lifetimes we'll get to go to a prestigious place in London at King Cross Station, the gateway to the north of England as far as we're concerned, and to be able to take our kids, grandchildren and see these columns which will dominate that building is going to be fantastic to see in the future.